We begin in Bangladesh, where hundreds of thousands are marching to the capital to demand the government start policing the blogosphere. The marchers want a blasphemy law requiring the death penalty for people who insult Islam online. At least four bloggers were arrested this week for criticizing the country's religious parties. The government accused them of inciting violence, but critics say it's stifling free speech. The protests come after weeks of unrest rooted in Bangladesh's battle for independence. Now, the country broke away from Pakistan in 1971. Three million people were killed. Leaders of the powerful Jamaati Islami Party have started facing charges for those crimes. One of those, Abdul Qader Mola, was sentenced to life in prison in February. Almost immediately, online activists and bloggers protested against the verdict and demanded he receive the death penalty. Now, since then. Jamati Islami supporters have held their own rallies, accusing the bloggers of insulting Islam. Our correspondent is on the line for us in Dhaka. Now we're not naming her for her own safety. Can you give us a sense of what's happening on the ground in Dhaka right now? When I am in the city, there are very, very large uh, crowds gathering from the conservative religious party and their supporters. That party is Hafizat e Islam. Now, they have actually organized this protest today, like you said, calling for stricter restrictions on what they see as blasphemy. And they've come from all around the country into the city. It's really a march, it's not a strike like you normally see here. So far, uh, it seems to be peaceful. We've heard of one death has been confirmed, and that was last night when there was a fight between supporters of the Hafizat e Islam party at the ruling Awami League. One Awami League activist was killed. Now, usually what you'll see in Dhaka during these times in recent months is a higher death toll and much more violent. But so far today, it has been fairly peaceful, although the crowds are very, very big. And as you say, the crowds are very big, and we're right now looking at pictures where the crowds are definitely swelling and moving more towards uh, the capital, Dhaka. Now, no doubt it's a very tense situation. How have the authorities prepared themselves for this? Well, the authorities now have more and more experience with this. In the last few months, they've been dealing with not just protests, but really quite violent protests. So they're really prepared. They have riot police. They have all different kinds of police here. There aren't any army or on, on the streets at the moment that hasn't, they haven't basically ratcheted up to that level. But right now it's really a, a case of wait and see and trying to contain the crowd and to make sure that it doesn't turn violent. Like I said, they have experience with that. The other consideration they have is from the other side of this argument. There are also protesters who are saying that they want, it, it, what they see as extreme Islam, as these very conservative parties to be banned, and those people are calling for a more secular politics here, and they are also protesting, so of course the, the government and the security forces here will be keen to keep the two sides apart. Right, we're going to have to leave it there. That's our correspondent speaking to us from the capital of Bangladesh, Dhaka.